Hey plant people out there, today's video is about a very special yet a very common plant. It's the pothos plant you see right beside me. I think I have grown thousands of them all around my greenhouse and they have grown up quite a bit. So I decided to do a massive pothos propagation for you all. I will also share a 50 day progress of our cuttings in this video. By the end of this video, I am going to reveal the secret on how you can grow lush, dense foliage on your pothos like these. So do stay tuned till the end of this video. Hi, my name is Ravi and I am a plant enthusiast from India. To begin with our propagation, we will be using four different varieties today. The Golden Pothos, the Neon Pothos, the Pothos Enjoy and the Marble Pothos. You might have seen numerous videos about Pothos propagation in water, but I figured out it's kind of a hassle to keep changing the water every now and then. It's okay if you intend to make just a few cuttings, but when you are planning to do it in a large number, soil propagation is the best. I have realized propagation in soil gives a much higher success rate compared to water. And also, if you happen to live in an area where mosquitoes are a regular problem, water propagation might invite a lot of mosquito larvae developing in the water. The cuttings might also start to rot if the water is not changed in a timely manner. Let's get started with our propagation. The first step is to prepare our soil mix. But before we do that, let's first observe our plants. If you look at the vines closely, there is an aerial root growing adjacent to every leaf node. This is the root which will help the cutting grow into a new plant. So to help the plant in growing the aerial roots, we need a soil which is not very compact. It should be porous and light enough so that the roots can easily dig in. And for this, coco peat is a great media for quick rooting and also keeps the soil light and airy, while at the same time absorbs a lot of water, keeping the soil moist. So let's start with the soil mix. For our potting mix, I've taken one part of garden soil which has been sealed to remove any stones or debris and one part of coco peat. We'll mix it well now. I'm using this shallow height pot with a broad top to ensure easy watering. So our potting mix seems to be ready. We will fill our pots now. Now that the pots are all arranged and organized, let's spray some water on the top so that the top layer of the mix settles down. This will help in keeping the cuttings stable and intact. Now let's prepare our cuttings. I have chosen the long vines for our cuttings. Let's start with the neon pothos first. You see these long vines with aerial roots? These are perfect for creating cuttings. We will choose healthy vines with several leaves on it. The more leaves, the better. I'm going to use a paper cutter. Let's first disinfect it using any regular hand sanitizer. We will make a clean cut right below a node, which is where the leaves emerge from the stem. So this is how we cut the stems. Make sure you don't confuse between the top and the bottom of the cuttings. It's in fact quite simple to identify. So this part you see here is the leaf node, right between the petiole and the stem. This is the aerial root and this is the top and this is the bottom. The bottom is supposed to be inserted in the potting media. We are going to cut all our other pothos variants in the same way.
सो आवर कटिंग्स आर रेडी टू बी प्लांटेड नाउ दीज पॉट्स आर अराउंड फाइव पॉइंट फाइव इंचज इन डाया मीटर विच इज़ गुड इनफ फॉर टू कटिंग्स नाउ बिकॉज द टॉप लेयर इज मॉइस्ड इट रियली हेल्प द कटिंग टू स्टे इंटैक्ट विदाउट मूविंग वी विल स्टार्ट बाय इंसर्टिंग द बॉटम साइड इन द सॉइल ऑल द वे अंटिल द एरियल रूट एंड द लीफ नोड टचेज द सर्फेस ऑफ द सॉइल मेक श्योर योर लीव्स आर फेसिंग अपवर्ड डोंट वरी If some leaves touch the soil, they will find their way back up towards the light. Once we are done, let's arrange them in rows, which makes it easier to water the plants. Now that the pots are all arranged and organized, let's water them. The cuttings need to stay hydrated at all times until the roots start to form. And with temperatures rising to 36 to 40 degrees, I am going to water it twice a day. We need to make sure we are spraying them every day with water. Do not use a gardening hose to water them, as it will disturb the root growth. Be careful while watering. Spraying is a great way to protect your cuttings from being uprooted easily. Place your cuttings in a semi-shade area where you get abundant indirect light. After around 20 days, this is how the cuttings have started to show signs of growth. New leaves have emerged out from a lot of my cuttings. In my experience, growing pothos from cuttings, the golden pothos happens to be the quickest to grow in new leaves, followed by the neon and pothos enjoy. The marble pothos seem to show the slowest growth. This is the result after 40 days of planting. The new leaves have unfolded and the pots have started appearing fuller. We will wait for another 10 days before we can replant them in beautiful decorative pots. This cutting was placed over 2 months back and it's ready to be replanted in a beautiful hanging pot. Let me show you how I do it. For this, I have chosen a self-watering planter. which stores water in the base for hanging plants these planters saves you from the hassle of watering the plant too frequently as it stores some water in the base of the planter the roots reach out in the bottom and take water from the reservoir below these are great for hanging pothos we will fill it with the same potting mix now we will gently take the plant out from this pot keeping the soil intact let's place it in the new hanging pot without disturbing the roots and there you go our hanging pothos is ready for display within a few months this is going to grow into a lush dense hanging one of the most rewarding aspects of this journey is sharing these plants with friends and family it's incredible how a single plant can bring so much joy to so many people over the years i have given a lot of pothos plant to a lot of people i came across who wish to start their gardening journey this happens to be one of the least cared plants and is also a great air purifier So whenever you are sharing your saplings with someone you are also contributing to a greener and cleaner environment if you have a pothos plant at home i encourage you to give propagation a try it's a fun and rewarding process that can transform your space into a thriving pothos paradise if you have made it this far in the video thank you for joining me on this journey through my pothos garden don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Share this video with someone who wants to start their plant journey and also share your own pothos propagation stories in the comments below. So it's time to reveal the secret behind this lush dense green foliage. The trick is to give your pothos a lot of indirect light and also high humidity. So spray your plants frequently. This increases the humidity and hence the plant gives a lot of new leaves.
do hit the bell icon so that you don't miss an episode also spare a moment to check out my other videos for your next plant inspiration